Okay, let's simplify the fraction 6 one hundredths or 6 over 100. So when we're simplifying a fraction and we're trying to find the lowest terms that we can put the fraction in and still have it equal to the original fraction. So we're looking for whole numbers here. When I look at 6 and 100, I know that 2 is going to go into 6. Basically, I'm just cutting this in half. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. 100 divided by 2, that's 50. And we really can't simplify or reduce this any further. There's no common factor that goes into both 3 and 50 and gives us a whole number. So that's how you simplify 6 over 100. And if you want to check that, you could divide 6 by 100 in your calculator. You'll get 0 0.06. If you divide 3 by 50, 0 0.06. 0, 6. These are equivalent fractions. The value is the same. We just have different numerators and denominators. This is Dr. B simplifying 6 over 100. Thanks for watching.